it was really scary, the fire, having it right, literally, it was right behind us. Um, I'm trying to stay as strong as I can for them. It's, it's really hard to deal with, though. I really just want to break down and just find a new place, but it's really, it's hard. It's really hard. It is really hard, but he, he handles it really well, and so does she, and we just try to keep strong so that they stay strong. But we're just glad that we're all safe and that we're still together. The kids are healthy, we're healthy, the dogs are fine. Like, we're just, we're just glad to all be together. I got diapers, wipes. Wow. Shrews. Yeah. Oh my God. These diapers. Man, I really appreciate this. No yeah, problem, honey. Thank you so much. No problem. My, I was telling him my grandmother instincts kicked in. So. <laughs> Cause this could be me. This could be me living in a parking lot. Luckily, I got. I had enough little, you know, saver's nest so we can stay in a motel. But I have grandchildren that age, went on the way, and for them to be out in the cold, nothing on their feet, it just breaks my heart. There was right. just people, you know, honking and people sort of saying, hey, it's coming up the street. Get out now. I discovered that my uh, insurance is about a little bit less than half the value of the home and about 60000 less than what I owe on it. So um, I'm hoping that somebody will help me cover the gap because I have nothing now. We, we've lost everything. Warren 65. Warren 66. Warren 66. It's sure to be a long, complicated recovery for this community, but we're going to be here working with our state and local partners the whole way.